this might just be another GIRS video to greet the face of YouTube in the last six months, but when you get given the random opportunity to come and film one, you don't really turn it down. So I'm currently on my way down to Goodwood to meet my friend Petrolped. Now I've known Pete for years through the Goodwood community, so when I saw he had a GI Yaris for three days, I said, can I come and shoot it with you? And thankfully he said yes. So we're heading down there now. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Hopefully this is gonna be a good experience, just finding out what this GI Yaris is all about, what is all the hype about. So yeah, let's head down there now and check this thing out. So here we are in the beautiful surroundings of Goodwood with the stunning little GR Yaris, probably one of the most talked about cars of the last six months and the internet certainly can't really get enough of it. Now this has been brought down today by Pete, otherwise known as Petrolped. Here he is, we're going to get him on camera in a moment. But before we get into the details of this car, Pete, you've had it for the last, how long have you had it? Ooh, 24 hours? 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. How have you been finding it? Um, yeah, it's a, I've been really excited about driving this car because I'm well. We're both mini owners, right? And yeah. you know the amount of people who, on any of my mini videos I've posted in the last year or so, or since this came out, have just said, "Oh, you've got to drive a GR Yaris." So it's I've kind of the next big thing, isn't very it? Very excited about it. And and I have to say, it, it's great. It's not perfect, but it's great. And and what you can tell is where Toyota has spent the money. Right. The engine's brilliant. I'm a big fan of these three-cylinder engines. I was driving the, the little um, Puma ST the other week, yep. and that's got the same thing, one and a half litre, three-cylinder engine. Well, this is 1.6, but by all accounts, this is the most powerful three-cylinder engine ever made. Yeah, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? Uh, sorry, 268 horsepower yeah. out of a 1.6 three-pot. And from what I've heard, it does sound pretty incredible. Oh, it sounds mega. It, and it, and and then it's coupled to um, four-wheel drive, which in a car of that size is just ace. Um, and I guess everybody kind of knows the, the backstory to it. This yeah. car was, was a, a kind of homologation car to qualify Toyota to race in the World Rally Championship. There's even a little World Rally Championship plaque inside. Mm. And then, and then, then, and, then, then and then, so, and then stuff happened. So, so it's now homologated. And, and now it's a really, really good road car. But it, you can tell, and it's got four-wheel drive, and, and a lot of people, when the GP3 came out, the Mini GP3, said it should have been four-wheel drive. And actually, I, I, I agree, and, and what, what driving it does make me think is, if only, um, if only Mini had been brave enough and spent the money to homologate and a four-wheel four drive, drive manual mm. GP3, Oh my days, that yeah. would be amazing. Because people always liked the Audi S1 because the Audi S1 was quattro four wheel drive, yeah, yeah. manual, quite lightweight. And we were saying earlier about the wheelbase, like it's such, the, the wheels are right on the kind uh, of extremities of the car. And if, what I love is the back end's really fat and wide, and those, those arches stick right out. And again, there's not, although it's called a Yaris, they should probably call it something else because it's not got a great it's, deal it's of Yaris not. in it, to be honest. Completely um, different roof line from what I've heard as well. Yeah, it's yeah. completely different uh, rear end. Lovely carbon fibre detailing on the roof. Um, and then the gearbox in it is brilliant. Mm. It's really, really lovely, very notchy, six speed manual box. It's lovely to drive. So they're all the good things about it. That's all the good things. Um, shall, we, shall we leave it there or shall, <laughs> <laughs> or shall we completely well, slag it off across I need the internet? To say, it, you can tell where they've spent the money because it's. I mean, it's what, 30 odd grand, just over 30 mm. grand, I think. Mm. Um, so, you you know, within that budget, you've got to work out where your priorities are. And the engine, the transmission, um, the gearbox, and the suspension setup, that's where the money's gone. That's where it's gone. And then you get inside it, and apart from the seats being quite nice, the inside isn't great. It isn't quite there. It's a bit, meh. Nah. But, but when you're hooning it down a B it's, road, it's for driving, and, and yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice little car, um, and I think it looks great as well. I think the front end of it that does car, look absolutely sweet. fantastic. Again, completely different rear uh, front end from the usual Yaris, yeah. and everything's functional as well. Yeah, it's all got purpose. Yeah. Like all the, you can see the kind of intakes down there for the brake cooling, all that sort of thing. Yeah. Big entrance for the intercooler, but yeah, look at look at that. It just looks so so purposeful and aggressive. So I think. We're in the nice surroundings of Goodwood. Be rude not to. 
I think it might be time to take it out for a drive and uh, yeah. see what you can do. Cool. Let's go. So here we are then, in the new GR Yaris, getting ready to go out. We should probably point out we're now wearing masks because we are during the times of COVID, so mm. just to be safe. Anybody has a moan, if, then <laughs> do one. Literally, there we go, you heard it from here. <laughs> He's had it enough in his comment sections the last 12 months. Yeah, so hopefully your audio will pick up because for me, these little three cylinder engines just sound. Awesome. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> It's like a load of bees trapped under the bonnet. Yeah, they're just like really shouty and... <laughs> sounds great. It sounds great. I mean, yes, it's fake, but like, does it matter? Well, it, it still goes in your ears. It still goes it in your ears. Good, right? So, I've not heard the car from the outside. Seems to be anything with an odd number of cylinders. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Three cylinder, five cylinder. Exactly. So what I like about it is it's it's quick, 268 brake in a car yeah. this size. Mm -hmm. But it's not stupidly quick that you can't the, rev it out in all the gears and really push it and, hard. And not know? and not be going to jail for it. Yeah, put it exactly. That way. It's, that, it's the mini thing. You get in a mini and you can drive a Mini quite hard and not be going stupid. Exactly, hard. yeah. And really enjoy You can it. be making the most of the road and the chassis and all that sort of thing exactly. without having to kill yourself. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and that's what I love about the ethos of the car is, is uh, and then the fact it's a four wheel drive platform just, just makes it... Loads makes of it fun. even better. And they're kind of purposely designed for roads exactly like this, narrow, potholes, well not necessarily potholes, but cambers, all that sort of thing. Yeah. That shows. Yeah, you got your little display. So now in sport mode, so you can see how much more of the power goes to the rear wheels than the front. Oh, it's kind of got that torque split, that sort of that sort of technology. Track, it's 50-50. Yeah, I see. Which is weird, because you think you think the track one the track would, would be the be rear more biased, rear biased. One, and the road one would be the 50-50 Just split just one. to keep you more safe. Yeah, but. And like you've been saying, it really does feel rear biased when you've been well, pull, yeah. pulling out junctions and that sort of thing. Really? <laughs> <laughs> not, not that I've noticed. I can't, I can't possibly say. <laughs> okay. Get that nice kind of whoosh from the exhaust as well under full acceleration. Yeah, like we were saying, you can't really pick and choose the spec on these. They're kind of they're kind of fixed in their <laughs> the lane departure. Yes. Doesn't doesn't like it, does it? Yeah, I'll probably could turn it off somewhere, but I haven't found the button yet. Because um, you you've got the kind of the circuit pack, the track pack, and the comfort pack. Yeah. And all the technology is there, but just some of it isn't engaged. So on here you've got the the map, for example. Yeah. But you've got no sat nav. You've got the, the button for the sat nav, but there's no sat nav no. loaded. So it's a bit strange how you can't necessarily pick and choose yeah, and the spec I'm options. I'm not a big fan of that at all. Um, it's quite a big, quite a big unit, isn't it? And if you know, if you're thinking about, I don't know, um, pitching this against something like a Mini GP3, yeah, then the interior of the Mini GP3 is just light years better. Than this. Yeah, I think it's the whole story behind it as well that just has kind of, it's kind of reignited a, a passion for a part of the industry that kind of got lost I feel like because back in the day back in the kind of noughties you had the the Super Impressa 22B the P1 the yep. Tommy Mac Evo yeah. all that sort of in thing my, in my day it was like RS 200s and yep. R4 Metro all that sort and, of thing which they had to homologate for group B so you got road going yeah. versions of rally cars and that was what got all the press back in the day those sort of those sort of cars yeah nowadays it's kind of tilted more towards the kind of high-end supercar, hypercar, that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's what I noticed anyway. I'll tell you what though, that lane departure warning is really annoying. Really? <laughs> it's got a nice, good amount of acceleration. First, first gear's quite short from what I can work out. Let's do a quick 0-60. We're doing 
do a quick 0 to 16, all right. Well, it's almost bit. like when you when you first push the throttle, you, you kind of need to. It feels like you need to rev it a little bit just to spin the just turbo up to get the engine running. Almost like there's a little bit of lag or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's, it's a speedy car, but it's not. I'm really lucky. I get to drive some really very fast cars, and and the thought of driving a really fast car is cool. Yeah. But the practicalities of driving a really fast car on the road. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's what you can use on because the road. You can't, what you can you get know, down. They're so fast. Um, I mean, I had the, that McLaren 620R the other week down this very bit of road, and that thing was utterly, utterly sensational. Yeah. But yeah, kind of around 300 is kind of the sweet spot in the UK, isn't yeah, it? Really? I think so. You don't really want to be driving anything too wide as well. Oh, and, and it doesn't feel like you know. I think 300. 300 horsepower through because there's quite a few hot hatches with front wheel drive 300, the, the McCann RS300 Trophy, the GP3. Yeah. And they're quite torque steery and quite hold on to your hands. Mm -hmm. This is um, because it's got the four wheel drive, it just has that, it seems to be able to deal with it a bit better. And it grips beautifully. It's quite linear as well. It's quite linear in its delivery, it's quite smooth all the way through that I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. Like in the Focus RS that I spent a lot of time in, you kind of get midway up the rev range and then the power would come in. Yeah. Whereas this, I've noticed it's kind of all the way through, it's quite consistent. Well there we go, I've finally managed to experience a, a Yaris. <laughs> it's, it's been a very cool little experience. We're now going to go and uh, head off, get some shots for Pete's video. Have you got all, all what you want to say for your video tomorrow? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. You're getting there. <laughs> that was a good practice. <laughs> I'll be filming that tomorrow. Yeah, so that that'd be out by the time this video goes out. So definitely, that'd be uh, linked in the description. Right, so as you can see, the weather seems to have turned. It is now chucking it down with rain. But we've certainly had our fun with the GRE house today. Ped is in there, in the warm. We've certainly, we've certainly had our fun. To the weather. I know it was such a nice day, but never mind. Well, good catching up. It's yeah, been, it's been, it's awesome, been awesome, mate. Awesome getting your photographic skills and helping yeah. you with the video as well. Yeah, and thanks for letting me experience this uh, car, car of the moment. Wash it tomorrow morning before I review it. Yeah, we've certainly thrown, dirty. thrown a bit of mud up the side. Right, I'll see you again soon. Just drive fast up that way. <laughs> see you later.